Yeah, originally I was going to talk about the key situation. It's going to take care of itself for me, but it hasn't taken care of itself for other people, and I'm concerned about other people too. You know, I, so I, I thought this, I'm going to talk about what I think the number one problem in this district is, and I think it's a cultural problem. I really do. I think that we do not have a good culture for people to work together, and I think we need to work on that. You know, uh, yeah, I think this organization is divided. Divided right in half almost, or maybe even two thirds, but it's divided. And because of the division, we've had some casualties in this district. We've had casualties with staff, we've had staff leaving, all right, some taking jobs other places, some retiring before they really wanted to retire. But the biggest casualties we have is have been in students. We've lost between 200 to 250 students in this district, as far as I can recollect. And that's a big loss, financially and everything else. And a lot of those students have left because they were dissatisfied with the school system. All right? And you have to find out why they're dissatisfied and you have to correct the problem. Otherwise, we're going to lose more. You know, and hey, I know people have told me that, well, it was the economy why they left. And I'll bet you, I'll bet you if 12 people left when the miners left, that was a loss. Most of the people are still here. They're going to Honey, they're going to Camaro, and they're going to online education. And, and if you want to see it for, for yourself, go to the movie picture show, go to Billy Chief, and see how many cars are dropping off kids there, and they're going to Honey. Honey used to have, and Manuel, you remember this, when your kids went there, there were about 15 people on that bus that dropped off there. They have two buses loaded to full. We need to do something about that. We need to get those students back here. And the only way to get them back here is to find out why they left. And you need to survey that, and you need to find out, and you need to get them back here. If not, this district is not going to function very well. It really isn't. And I think this district has some problems anyway. I think this district is separated. It doesn't work together. I think the collaboration isn't very good. I think it's a dictator. It's from the top down. And I don't think things work from the top down very well. And research will tell you that. You know, and I think in order to change people, you have to win their hearts. That's the first thing you have to do is win their hearts. If you don't win their hearts, they're not going to do anything for you. All right? Then you have to win their trust. And then you have to show them that you truly care for them. And if you do that, they'll do anything for you. They'll work hard. And they'll go over and above what you're supposed to do. And I think you need to do that. You need to build that into your organization. You know, I like to say that, you know, I read the Bible a lot. I think we have a lot of religious people and good religious people. And the Bible tells us that the greatest gift is the gift of love. And the greatest lesson we can learn is, the, is to forgive people. And if we live by the golden rule, we treat others like we would like to be treated, we would be much better off. And I don't think that always happens in this district, but I think it needs to happen. All right, that's it. All the time.